Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends. Welcome back to the Pisces portal. This is going to be a general love reading for Pisces Collective. So it might resonate, it might not. Pisces, let's see what the energies are between you and someone or just you and your love life in general, okay? Let's see what you have going on in love right now. Okay, so we have friendship and union. Pisces, something is really really brewing between you and a friend and has been for some time because um, this card just comes out a lot for you all so you could be developing a friendship with someone or getting to know one person or maybe pisces you're getting to know several people perhaps you're dating socializing just going out and about, okay? Getting to know different people. Oh, shoot. Here we go. So we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Pisces, I'm really feeling like some of you are looking to really develop a solid friendship with someone before you try to get closer to them or try to get into a relationship with them. I feel like you've learned a lot from your past relationships or past dating experiences and now you're like you know what i want things to last i want things to work out i want to try something different so i feel like you are really looking to vibe or connect with someone who again you have a very deep and strong friendship with first and then see how things can grow and develop from there some of you could already be at this point where a friendship is like really blossoming. And you might be thinking to yourself like, wow, like nothing has gone wrong yet or, you know, this is working out so far. Okay, so we have I am peaceful. Yeah, you're trying to do things that promote peace within your connections with other people okay maybe you didn't have a lot of peace in your last relationship or you know past connections with other people and now you're really focused on getting to know people who seem to be in sync with you in sync with your purpose your values because you've learned that if you are not in sync with someone who is on the same page as you, that ultimately it's destined to fail, okay? I really see you connecting with people from your soul tribe right now. And any connection that doesn't give you peace, you're not for it. So we have commitment here. Yeah, it's like friendship first, commitment later, okay? So whoever it is that you're getting to know, you and this person may end up committing to one another, okay? I think you would want this person to commit to you or vice versa because... This person brings you a lot of peace, a lot of happiness, and it definitely feels like they could be a soulmate or 
even a twin flame, okay? Because we have like these two doves here. So I feel like you and someone are definitely on one accord, on the same wavelength, really understand one another. Wow, yeah, ooh, synergistic. This is your energetic match. Two birds seem sweeter than one. And I just said the two doves were there, Pisces. So yeah, you and someone have a really smooth connection, okay? Things seem to flow very easily. And I feel like if something arises between you and this person, that could cause a conflict. It's like you try to deal with things amicably or in a very peaceful way because it's not worth losing the friendship over. And if you've been wondering or thinking or feeling like, hey, is this person, you know, really the one for me? I'm seeing here, Pisces, that they are. So we got second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. So Pisces, for some of you, this could be someone that you've dated before, been in a relationship with before. Okay. It doesn't have to be, but if it is Pisces, you and this person are trying to get to know each other all over again, but truly as friends, okay? Um, I'm not sure what may have happened between the two of you before specifically, but maybe after a failure, Pisces, you and this person, are trying again so please take it how it resonates okay because we're definitely getting several messages here and honestly when it comes to a second chance between you and someone it's really going to lead to the commitment that you wanted from them before or there's just going to be more peace between you and this person because you're coming together truly as, oops, sorry, <laughs> truly as friends, okay? And perhaps that was an aspect of this connection that was missing before. Yeah, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So if this is someone that you've, been with before Pisces um again you're trying to rebuild trust with this person you're trying to start all over rebuild the foundation really get to know one another um not just beyond the mistakes because I feel like someone definitely had to explain some things but you both really want to build a true union so that you can have that solid commitment. Like you and this person are very much so intertwined, okay? Very much so intertwined. Okay, we have here Legacy of Light. I really feel like for you and this person, whether you're reconnecting with them or if they're fairly new to your life, that there's a spiritual connection. And I guess I could sense that too from the friendship and union card. There seems to be just like this harmonious, <clears throat> um, you know, balance of energies between you and this person. So I definitely feel like you and this person have perhaps been together in a past life, but I also see that there's a potential here for you and them to um, have a family, even, you know, trying your relationship again to um, start a family or to bring your family back together, okay? To build on this legacy of light.
Yeah, they're like, if this is um for you and someone who are rekindling things, I just feel like things are going to be better the second time around. And this is more so if you have been thinking about reaching out to someone or waiting to respond to someone who has reached out to you or if you're already like reconnecting with someone. Okay, I don't think this message is for like Pisces who haven't, you know, like you're not even checking for anyone, okay, from your past and no one is checking for you from your past, okay? This is more so like current energies. So let's see what other messages we get here, Pisces. Limitless. See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything and anyone. Yeah, Pisces, for a lot of you, whether you're reconnecting with someone or meeting someone new, I think you are going to be so surprised at what takes place between you and this person in this connection. There's, yes, there's evidence of failure here, sure, but everything else that's here is very positive, okay? You are trying to stay in alignment, trying to keep your energies balanced, okay? There's... Um, you know, foresight of commitment. You and this person really are in sync with one another. And with this limitless card here, it's like the sky is really the limit for how far you and this person can go, especially with this legacy of light here. So if having a family is important to you, Pisces, you and this person are definitely going to build that legacy but you just have to like the trust card says have faith in this situation okay even more so if you're giving this person another chance or the both of you are giving one another a second chance okay um i think spirit is just going to really pour out blessings between the two of you because this is a synergistic connection. This person is your energetic match. So with that being said, I feel like just by default, blessings and, and miracles would find themselves in this relationship. feel like Pisces it's like it's gonna be commitment from this person or you offering your commitment to them okay um it's just gonna happen so easily and so naturally you know like you're just not going to have to force things or put in a whole bunch of effort to convince or try to coerce or you know just get this person to like be on board they're going to. I feel like this connection, between, you know, it offers this person a lot of peace as well, which is why they would want to commit to you and why you would want to commit to them. Why am I still shuffling this deck? Oh my God, I'm crazy. So rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Pisces, yeah, you're not going to have to, um, and this is a sleeping mermaid, okay, so don't worry yourself, don't trouble yourself mentally, okay, with worst case scenarios or thinking that this person isn't going to commit to you, okay, because they will, and you will commit to them too, like that's what I'm getting, you know, commitment is two-way street. So, don't use your energy again to 
think the worst, anticipate the worst, or expect the worst from this person. So Pisces, I'm going to close this out with an Angel Answers card. Wow, a year from now. Ooh, Pisces. Perhaps a year from now, you and this person will be committed to one another. Okay? I definitely I definitely feel like it could happen sooner than that, but I think a year from now things are going to be a lot sweeter between you and someone from your past or things are just going to be in a very harmonious place between you and someone new. So Pisces, this has been your reading. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.